Don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it. Well, I'm going to do it. Too bad. What is up, everybody? Colonel Pops. And yeah, this is going to be a movie review for Evil Dead. Um, this was released just the other day, Thursday, April 4th. And I uh, got to see it opening night, which was April 4th. It was pretty kick-ass. Um, one of the best movie experiences I've ever had. Uh, theater was packed, and just it was a kick-ass film. And I uh, really enjoyed it. So uh, Evil Dead is a reboot of the original horror cult classic, The Evil Dead, which was made in 1981. And uh, it's Evil Dead 2013 is a reboot. Um, you might be hearing it's a remake, but it is in no way, shape, or form a remake. It is a reboot. Uh, but they are going to share some similarities because uh, Evil Dead 2013 was produced by the original director of The Evil Dead 1981, the original actor from the 1981 movie, and then one of the original producers from 1981's The Evil Dead. So yeah, that's kind of a brief history of The Evil Dead uh, franchise, I guess. But uh, I'll kind of go over the plot here. and uh, So it starts out with... Olivia, Eric, and Natalie going to the cabin to uh, help Mia kick uh, a dope addiction. And Mia's brother David is there, and they're not on the best of terms. So they help her try to kick dope, and uh, yeah, intervention type thing of a bobber, help her through the few, for, uh, first few days. And yeah, that's kind of their goal. So kind of, you know, not going to party or anything, just kind of, you know, help a friend, which I think is pretty cool. Different in a horror movie, I guess. Location's kind of uh, <laughs> common, I guess. But um, so yeah, and uh, then the cabin is um, family owned for some time. But I guess some bad shit has happened in the cellar of the cabin, which they are kind of unaware of. Uh, a, de a girl was exercised of a demon inside of her, which kind of leads into this part of the story. And uh, so yeah, uh, Mia smells like, you know, they smell rotting flesh or something like that so they go into the bottom area and find just a shit ton of dead cats hanging and then they find a book wrapped in barbed wire in a plastic bag eric who is the dipshit takes it opens it and ends up reading a passage out of it uh out of the, it's a ne necronomicon too the book of the dead or whatever and uh, so he reads a passage out of it which releases one of the spirits or demons uh whose goal is to collect five souls in order to release the abomination upon the earth and blood will rain down, and then the abomination will come up, and whatnot. So yeah, one of the so the spirit comes back, and uh, Mia's just having a shit fit, you know. And place bugs her, so she tries to get away. Uh, spirit gets her; she gets raped by a tree, which is kind of creepy. Which then that's how the spirit gets inside of her. So yeah, and that's uh, pretty much the gist of it. Uh, not gonna go into any more details because then it ruin a good portion of the movie. But I think the movie was pretty damn good. Um, just a complete and utter gore fest. Uh, and I was reading some things about it. I heard that little CGI was used in the film uh, just to touch up some things, which uh, I don't know how true it is or not. But if it is true, that's pretty kick-ass because they did a really good job on some things that you think that that would be CGI. And then also I read that uh, the actress Mia, whoever played her, I forget who it was, but uh, she was buried alive for uh, one of the scenes. And if that's true or not, I mean, that's really that's some commitment because that's some scary shit being buried alive. And uh, whether or not that's true, you know, it's up to you. Uh, I'd like to believe it is because, I mean, that's that's commitment right there to uh, doing a good job. And uh, usually, you know, acting in horror movies is, you know, kind of subpar at best. Uh, I think everyone did a really good job in this, especially uh, Mia, who's kind of the main ca central character. Uh, I think she really got into her role and, uh, yeah, just, you know, took it and went with it and did a very, very good job. And uh, it really convinced me she did a very good job. But, um, you know, it was a complete and utter gore fest. Kind of surprised me it got an R rated, uh, R rating. Uh, definitely should have been NC 17 for uh, the gore and whatnot. I mean, it's Ghost House Pictures, and it's the f films they do are pretty damn gory, and uh, they're usually not rated because it's just easier that way. But it could have received the NC 17 rating, but I think that's just because uh, there were no sexual themes other than the tree rape, you know, no boobs or anything. But uh, just a lot of violence. The kill scenes were awesome. The gore was plentiful and uh, i really enjoyed it and then, of course it is rated r and uh so if you're 17 and older i definitely would suggest seeing this film if you're uh, a horror fan and uh yeah and if you're younger than that try to get an adult 21 and over who would like to go see it and you'll be good otherwise kind of sucks 
since theaters have their regulations. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this movie review. I like The Evil Dead 2013. Uh, I thought it was a kick-ass film, and to definitely stay till after the credits because there will be a little surprise. Uh, and if you're familiar with The Evil Dead 1981, you will kind of know what's going on. And if you're not, uh, just, you know, Wikipedia, Google search it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. This has been The Colonel Pops, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Later!